Car sex, underrated, is often unappreciated. LOL. There's nothing like <laughs> pulling over on the side of a busy interstate and getting it on. That's what? what he says. Or stumbling out of a bar with some random chick you brought a few drinks for and convinced to leave with you. Going to a car and not, e- and not even making out of the parking lot. It's just – oh, and, and banging basically. It's just plain awesome. Uh, I purchased let, – let it go and loved it. Thank you. Um, I would say that sex in a car was way better back in the day when they had bench seats and actually they made huge cars. But uh, I, I think it's – I don't know. You know, I don't like the look in your <laughs> eye. I don't like the fucking look in your goddamn eye. Um, okay, and I'm not getting into uh-huh. our fucking personal life, but we don't got okay. enough. We don't have enough memories <laughs> to have that look in your eye, you filthy fucking whore. <laughs> wow. Yeah, the older cars are better because they have more room. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gotta be kidding me. You know what? Why don't you get your trampy ass out of here? Oh, please, Nia. You think I, you think I didn't realize that when I met you? Huh? You think I didn't realize? You know? You You've had I, a sex life before me, right too. You're goddamn right I know. did. You're goddamn right so I did. So what is the problem? That's what it took. Male whore meeting a female whore. <laughs> you were a sex. man whore. I was not. You, no, you were a man whore I was always for nice to the ladies. Yeah. No, I wasn't. Look at me, Nia. I look like fucking Howdy Doody with a fucking nah. But you got that whole little like sexy, angry thing going on. Women like that. Listen, Nia. You know what I don't like? I don't like being pandering to, pandered to. However the fuck is. <laughs> I don't care, theirs. Nia. I don't care. I'm just picturing you in a goddamn car with your fucking oh. hot ass feet up against the fucking <laughs> window. All right. This no. This podcast is too goddamn long at this point. I gotta upload this shit. No, I was gonna. Like I just wanted to talk about really quickly. I had a, a boyfriend in college. And he, oh, okay, um, Nia. Thanks for coming <laughs> on the podcast. No way. We had a great time. Hey, listen. I no. I do have a couple more tops. I don't even have your fucking boyfriend in college. It, no, it has nothing to do with our relationship. Care. It's when care. he was a little kid. Shut up. And he was dressed as a hobo for Halloween. He was white, by the way. Um, and he put dirt on it. Like he wanted to put like brown makeup on his face to look like dirt, so he'd look like a dirty hobo, and it looked like he was wearing black face. Oh, he went all so out. So people were like, do you think all black people are hopeless? And he was like, I just want to be dirty. So it was it was Which made it, it even worse. But it was hilarious. Oh, Jesus. It's a funny story. It really isn't. I no, you know, because the fact that he told you that story, I can see how far into the relationship you are, which means other things were going on, which I really didn't need to know. 